In that still and settled place, there's nobody but you. You're where I breathe my oxygen. You're where I see my view. And when the world feels full of noise, my heart knows what to do. It finds that still and settled place and dances there with you. I wonder what comes to mind if I say the word heaven. What do you think? What's the picture in your imagination? Maybe you've got something in your mind that's about clouds and angels and a man with a long white beard. Or a wedding. Two people poised to make promises to each other to love, to have and to hold through everything for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. Those are my pictures of heaven. An act of love. Two people committing themselves to one another without anything held back, not knowing how the future's going to unfold, but ready to walk into it together with love as their bond. That sounds like heaven. I, Alexander, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Emily, take you, Alexander, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Emily, my wife, my wife Emily, my wife Emily, we did it, <laughs> we did it, and it feels amazing and, and of course you get quite reflective in the build up to times like this and I was thinking back to July 2015 when we first met at Sunset and Vine where you were the uh, office runner and I was the researcher and I don't need to tell you guys, that's a pretty heady combo. Practical, creative. Turns out she was both. <laughs> um, Emily actually took the induction that I went on my first day. She showed me, among other things, the emergency exits, the evacuation procedure, and the first aid facilities. We did have a serious health and safety issue. I was tumbling. Head over heels. That was the first time that I experienced this gorgeous, like eviscerating, but somehow shy smile that still makes my knees go wobbly. And no more so than today. That was the first time I witnessed it. An effortless, effortless beauty, which I still cannot quite understand and takes my breath away. What drives me now, standing here, is the same that drove me the moment I met you on the fire escape. Just to make you smile, just to see that smile, just to make you happy, that's my goal, that's my plan. And I feel so secure in my love for you and yours for me, and that feels amazing. So, please, could we please raise a glass for my incredible wife, Emily. To Emily.